slash and cast. They spiked eggnog a little in there. I don't know if I've ever tried eggnog. Oh, you should try it. It's good. It's good. Especially spike it. You would like it because you like girly drinks. But what's it taste like? It tastes like eggnog. Yeah, I had an eventful morning. I I was up to like, Sounds three, like it. I was up to like three a.m. editing, and then uh, I woke up at like ten thirty a.m. Jeez. And yeah. So anyway, I took a shower, getting ready, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna run, grab some food, get back here on time to start this, and then I could not find my wallet, and I started to panic, and I'm tearing the house apart looking for my fucking wallet. That's the worst. I did that recently too. It's the worst. And I, I'm very like, I put things in the same spot all the time. Yep. Yep. So I'm thinking, where could I, I lost my wallet. And, uh, Nan, and I went to Chick-fil-A last night. That's the only place I went. And I'm thinking, did I drop it in Chick-fil-A? But I know how I am. As soon as I get home, I'm like a machine. I, I, yeah. I, I, I stuff's take, out, goes where it yeah. goes. Yeah, yeah, I I would have noticed it missing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I just, I guess I somehow it was on it was my desk. That's where I usually put it, but I guess I stuck it in the drawer in my desk for some reason. I don't mm. know why, and mm. I don't know why I didn't look there. I just was running. I'm like looking through my laundry. Was it in my pants still? Did I leave it upstairs? You know, checking my car. About to call Chick Fil A. Did you find a wallet? You know, um, <laughs> I'm thinking. Well, you know, they're a Christian company, so hopefully they're honest. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Um, holding on to it in there with their crucifixes and their Bibles. No. Um. So I find it. Takes me like a good twenty minutes before I find it. Then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get some lunch. And I told you I was probably going to be a little bit late. I get to the sandwich shop where I wanted to eat. And there, there's a dude, like the guy's at the door going, hey, you know, we're closed right now. And I look and there's a guy on the floor, like holding down another guy. And there's what? blood. What? Yeah. And, and the cops are coming. And the cops show up like four police cars show up and they all get out. And anyway, it was some homeless dude who was first, he was, he was huge. And he's all tatted up fucking head. His head is tatted face is tatted. You know, it looks like a character out of a movie. And the other dude was uh, like a, a male nurse. He's in his scrubs and the scrubs are all covered in blood now. And, uh, but, but he's a big dude. Right. And um, so anyway, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, should I go somewhere else? You know, I should, you know, I was really in the mood for this sandwich. Really hungry and I want this sandwich, but should I go somewhere else? I'm about to go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm about to go somewhere else. And the manager guy knows me and he goes, Hey man, just hang out. We'll take care of you. You come here all the time. We'll take care of you. I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll free lunch. If I sit this out, you know, so I'm waiting for them to just get things sorted and then they did. They gave me free lunch. Um, did the cops come? No, well, yeah, there was. I yeah, I said there was four cop cars. There's all oh, yeah. Jesus. And so I'm sitting in there, and the dude that you know had him on the ground, and he's sitting in there, and he's just like, "This is not how I wanted to spend my day," you know. And I <laughs> and I go, "Do you mind if I ask what happened?" And he's just like, "Dude, I was just sitting here having lunch. This guy comes in. He was he goes. I was watching him. He was acting erratic." And I tried to get around him to get, refill my drink. And he kind of did this to me like this. And I'm like, whoa, bro. You know, and he goes, it made me, it startled me. And I dropped my, because I dropped my keys and my, my sunglasses or whatever. And I, so I, I'm going, I'm trying to get around him. And he comes at me again, like, like he's going to hit me. And he goes, and I just fucking, he goes, I just, you know, I said, dude, back the fuck up, back up, back up. And the guy you know, he said I was ready and he goes, he just kept coming closer and goes, so I fucking punched him in the throat. He goes, I took him to the ground and Jesus. he goes, and you know, he goes, I'm just, you know, 
he said I was just lucky that the guy was drunk and and really didn't know how to fight because he goes. So at what point did you walk in on this into the store? They were on, they were he was on, on the, the ground, ground holding him. <laughs> so I'd have he was right the fuck out. I'd have turned around and walked out. <laughs> well, they said free sandwich, so I. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Plus, I kind of wanted to hear the story of what went down, you know. Jesus. Um, but yeah, th- th- then it, it got it got it got interesting because I'm talking to the guy, and he's and like I said, he was a big dude, and he said, "Yeah, he goes, I don't trust these guys at all." He goes, "I used to work in this unit." He goes, "I was a cop." He goes, "I used to work in this unit. I do not trust them at all." Mm. And then I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. And then he goes, he goes, notice there's not a white guy amongst them. And I'm mm-hmm. just like, wow, dude. Amongst that's the cops? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just like, okay, racist guy. That was a, wow. I was on your side there for a second. For a second, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, that's something I, now I notice, but nothing I would have ever thought, you know? Right, right. I was just like, wow, this is. It just kind of shows you how fucked up our world is right now, how divided dude. it is. And when dude. he made that comment, because you know, going. and he starts talking about how he just, you know, well, I was I did a tour in Afghanistan and I was a cop for a while and blah blah blah. And it's a shit job and blah blah blah. And he made that comment. I was like, oh, no. Jeez. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas. Yeah. What kind of world are we living in? Yet the two guys that were fighting were white dudes. So yeah, okay, you'll All figure. Right. Um, I want to say something real quick. I realized I made a mistake on our last episode. The shirt, remember, I, I showed off the the company contender um, that sent me a few things. I think mm-hmm. I said contender dot com. It's contender contenders clothing dot com. Contenders clothing dot com. So my apologies as I try to give them a shout out and I screwed it up. Now the orders are going to come flooding in. I actually like the shirt. No, it's funny. It's a good shirt. Well, you know, what's interesting is I, I was like, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Right. Whatever. I went to Home Depot the other day wearing this and two people like within three minutes of each other said, hey, man, cool shirt. And I was like, hmm. Thanks. And that doesn't happen that often, but it happened twice. Like somebody else goes, Hey man, really cool. I'm like, they, is contender clothing here? Like punking me? Or are they trying to, <laughs> are they trying to do a promotion? What's going on? I, mean, I just, it was just odd that two different people commented on this shirt. Right. Like, okay. I mean, I like, right. don't, don't get me wrong. It was just, I don't get compliments on my shirts very often. So hmm. I get compliments all the time. Well, that's you. That's you. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so that was my morning, and uh, now we're doing this. And I don't know how this shit always happens to you? You always end up in some kind of crazy. I don't know how it happens to you. I, I go out, nothing happens ever. I, well, nothing happened to me per se. But I live in Burbank, so nothing happens in Burbank. <laughs> Well, I would I would think that or my area of Orange County is much more chill than than your uh, area. I don't, I don't know. I guess your area is pretty chill. It's pretty chill. Your area, but L.A. Yeah. in general is not. No, L.A. is, but Burbank is. Yeah. We got cops on every corner. Let's Nothing see. happens here. That was the thing. The cops took forever to get there. Like, really? I was sitting there waiting for the cops more than anything. Hey, I got this. I sent out a bunch of stickers and stuff this week. A lot of people sent in, by the way, if you want free stickers, address below. Feel free to send self-addressed stamped envelope. Um, uh, preferably two stamps on there because I've put a lot of stickers in there and they can be heavy. Right. So, but anyway, uh, I, I got this letter and I'm going to read this because it starts off, Dear Sean, no need to read on the podcast. <laughs> so, so you're going to read it. Yeah. Enclosed is an envelope for stickers. If you have any of the expensive looking stickers from the podcast, please include. Well, I'm glad you guys think our stickers are expensive looking. They are good stickers. They're good um, stickers. They were cool looking. Also, if you have anything with two heads pictures 
or stickers, I'd appreciate one. Is it possible to have one signed? I did send him a signed one. I don't know if why I'm reading this. I don't know if there's anything interesting. Oh, it's it's why mainly it just talk. It? It's mainly just talking about how I'm the man when it comes to horror film locations. That's, You're the man when it comes to horror film locations. Yeah, that's about it. Um, <clears throat> I can probably just cut that whole thing out. Uh, I wanted. I forgot to show this. I think I showed it to you. That painting that that guy no, I did. I never saw it. Oh, you haven't seen this? No. This guy Tony Cosgrove made this for me as he knew I was a big Salem's Lot fan. That's cool. It's really cool. It's yeah. all it's an original painting. I, I thought he nice. did a great job. Yeah, it looks great. I'm actually going to hang it up. Thank you, Tony. There you go. Thanks, I know Tony. where it's going. And it will be up. I've been waiting to show it before I put it up. Um, also, I do have a few letters, I think. Um, I also never got a chance to thank Cre Creepy Customs for sending me their superior 78 h1 shape suit which i wore on halloween this year uh not with a myers mask but just the, a, a different mask when i was running around scaring kids on halloween so thank you lovely um let's see what's this uh that's nah, just the love the pod thing hold on sean and chris your show is the best thing on youtube read see how big see like the little skulls um uh let's see uh, keep on Last rocking on pete YouTube. yeah he asked for some signed a signed pic which i sent him he sent the if you do want a signed photo uh thing with two heads photo we give those away free as well but you have to you send do. a eight by ten sized envelope with at least like five dollars uh postage because those cost more to ship did you look in that bag that I brought to your party? I have not. All right. Yeah, I thought it was a Christmas present, wasn't it? it? There's a Christmas present in it, but there's also the T-shirt from Ever Scathed and your head that that one guy sent to us that oh. he made for you. No, I didn't. I I was waiting till Christmas. But oh, okay. dear Sean, thank you for being so rad. We like to watch your videos as a family. We have two kids. 11 and 16 and we'll preview a video if we are not sure about the content but with your videos we have not had any issues really a little risky sometimes i really appreciate appreciate that there may be the occasional cuss word fucking name uh but nothing like you get from most people our 11 year old daughter is really into special effects makeup drawing and painting the 16 year old may think he is too cool for everything but still loves halloween making costumes and collecting masks and hats i am sure you are incredibly busy so i will not go on too long too late but seriously thank you for your love of the horror craft we love the location videos and senior collection thank you for what you do god bless carla young that you did a little a little little uh so nice. That was a very nice thing. That was very sweet, Carla. Appreciate it. No letters to me telling me how awesome I am. That's cool. No. That's cool. I'll just sit here. And well, well, in my misery. I got you some stickers. Got you a directed by Wes Craven sticker. All right. And whatever this is, I don't know if that's this person's thing. I don't know, whatever that is. It's another sticker. Um, most of the things I've just been getting have just been wanting free stickers, not a lot of letters. Uh, so I think that's it for now. There might be some. I haven't been to the P.O. box in a week, so there might be more sitting there. But anyway, um, I think that's it. I think so. Probably. Yeah. Um, but we appreciate it, guys. And, and, uh, this probably won't air before our live show on Saturday, so I won't bother bringing that up. Never mind. <laughs> also, you know what? I did say that I was going to answer questions um, if anybody had questions from the last show, but I don't recall if there were any. Let me look. Did you sure happen to are. see any? 
I hadn't, I hadn't, I, I don't look at the comments. You don't look at the comments. Okay. I don't look at the comments. I don't want to see any negative horse shit. Oh, it's been nothing but good comments. Well, that's good. Was that the depressing episode? Yeah, people love about? the. De- I'm reading. There's so much, <laughs> people, so much love for the depressing content, um, and and the, you want it, more it, depressing content. I got it for you. They want more depressing <laughs> content, and they want more of you trying pickle beers. Okay. So, um, I'm not doing that. Everybody said they enjoyed our real talk. Real talk. I got real, real talk all day long, baby. Yep. And I'm about real talk. Yeah. Nobody so talks real talk. A heartfelt episode, people said. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of just nothing but positive stuff. I don't see. I'm looking for questions. It's just people commenting on how they can relate to a lot of what we were saying and they appreciate it and blah 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 um it can't all be butterflies and kitty cats you guys i like this best fucking middle age men death is coming episode ever <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a great comment that was a good comment who read that who said that that was somebody named uh Gavin Belson, fifty-two eleven. All right. No. Best middle age death. Yeah. Death is coming. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, here's a question. Yeah. What is you and Chris's favorite theme song for a horror movie? Theme song. Yeah. Theme song. I guess probably score, like you know, the Halloween theme. I guess he means right. score. Right. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I mean, I, I mean, uh, I have to go in Neo Morricone for the thing. I love that score. It's a good score. Really, the thing that would be your favorite? Yeah. yeah. Well, not my favorite, but it's up there. I mean, it's one of them. Mm. Halloween for a horror movie, right? Yeah. Two little bells. I mean, John Carpenter. Almost anything John Carpenter does. I love John Carpenter themes. Love them. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it, it uh, there's a lot. There's, I mean, there's so many. I love the phantasm theme. I love the fog theme. Mm-hmm. I love the opening theme to the fun house. Um, yeah. I love the March of the Killer Clowns uh, theme from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Anyway, um, uh, lots. I love the Assault on Precinct 13 theme, even yeah. though it's technically not horror, you know, yeah. but Escape from New York, anything John Carpenter. I love John Carpenter. Yeah, well, I, yeah, don't look like there's too many questions, just a lot of people, uh, well, just, uh, you know, asking, I mean, uh, co- commenting rather commenting commenting well, um, we're hanging out it's christmas time it's christmas time right now yep. coming up less than a week christmas will be here uh christmas time rough, rough, here. rough time of year for some people rough you know? time of the year <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, but 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 fun for others you know it can be fun if you make it fun here we are at christmas time this will come out after christmas right this will be this no. will be out next week no I, well isn't when is christmas next is it, to monday it's this monday is monday it? oh it Week is from yesterday yeah uh, i don't know we'll see I, yeah probably okay. will be i'll probably drop it on christmas or something it'd be my gift to the people christmas 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 one of christmas. the best christmas movies if you want to talk about christmas movies Better Off Dead, one of the best Christmas movies ever. That is a good Christmas movie. It's, it's not considered a Christmas movie, really, but it is. It is a great Christmas movie. Um, do you have a couple of favorite Christmas movies? I do. I'm always a big fan of the Christmas Vacation. You know, I love yeah. Christmas Vacation. Um, um, 
let's see die hard is a big christmas movie for me i love die hard i mm -hmm. consider it a christmas movie um uh what else bad santa yeah i think we we've kind of gone over this before we've, I'm we've sorry. Covered this. Yeah. yeah i love the ref the ref um, is great love the ref um Haven't obviously Chris, christmas story of course i actually christmas really story. enjoyed the sequel the christmas story christmas i right and i you had told, a nice you, you told peter billingsley i that did yeah. yeah were you did you hear me telling him that i was there i was right next to you we were, yeah. Yeah, so this is how it goes down. We're walking on the field at the Pittsburgh Steelers game, just walking That's on right. the field with Peter Billingsley, you know, Ralphie. That's all. As you no do. No big deal. As you do. I'm just saying, hey, King of the Look at that. What? It's crazy. Are we going to go out and toss the big skin around a little bit? Let's do this. Yeah. Steelers. We can kill one. We can kill one. Yeah. All right. I mean, Patriots only two and something. We could probably take them. And I just told him, I said, hey, man, I want to tell you, as a fan of Christmas Story, I was really nervous about the sequel. And when I saw it, I was pleasantly surprised that it hit all the, I thought it hit all the right little beats. And, and right. I really enjoyed it. And, you know, and he was very, uh, seemed very pleased with that statement and told us how hard he had worked on it and you know for a long time and um yeah he was a really nice guy he, he's got Super one of those faces nice. that he looks like he might not be a nice guy he's got kind of a i guess <laughs> he looks least, worried he looks worried yeah he, he does have a worried face like just worried yeah. <laughs> and he's got some those glasses man he, his eyesight yeah. must be shit because he thought they were thick when he was a little kid man they right they are thick. Um, right. Hell of a nice guy, though. I really liked him. And Very uh, nice. but uh, yeah, we, um, we we got to hang out with him. Tell him what. Tell us. Let's tell the people what uh, this will segue us into. What Steel City? Oh yeah, we were at Steel and City. Our trip, our trip to Pittsburgh. Oh which, yeah, that's uh, right. Which, which starts uh, a lot. A lot happened in Pittsburgh. We we had a good time in Pittsburgh. Well, first we 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 had we woke up. We had lunch at the mall. We did. Right. We, we had went to go to the Monroeville Mall. Yeah, we visited uh, Jorge's bust. Yeah, and um, did a walk through the Living Dead Museum, courtesy yeah. of uh, Kevin and crew. We appreciate that. And um, and then uh, we went to like J.C. Penney's and bought some warm clothing for the Steelers no, game. No, we night. went to Dick's. That was Dick's. Oh, we went to yeah, well, we did, did. We went to J.C. Penney's first, and we they did didn't go to J.C. Penney. But then we went to Dax. We went to um, Dax. Dax, and uh, yeah, um, it was great walking around the mall again. If people don't already know this, and I'm sure they do, that's where that's where I grew up around Monroe, Monroeville Mall, and that's where when I would get my school clothes at Monroeville Mall. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was nice. I hadn't been back there in decades. And uh, so it was nice to go back there and check out the Monroeville Mall with Sean and look at all the the landmarks of, you know, Dawn of the Dead and things like that. And uh, and and the part of the mall that still is the same. And a lot of it isn't the same, but yeah, but some of it is. And uh, that was super fun. That was it was very surreal to be there and then to have the the plaque and the statue with George Romero and the museum that's there, which I think is great, but uh, it's, it's, it's super cool to, to, to experience all that stuff and, and be back in the, in the Berg. And uh, um, we had fun. I, I thought uh, that was one of the highlights of the trip really was hanging around the Morovo mall. We had something to eat. And, uh, and then what, then what did we do, Sean? Well, <laughs> then we went to Tom Savini's house uh because you hadn't been and you, you he wanted to give you the tour yeah and so then uh, he reached out he was like you i know you're going to be in pittsburgh you guys have to come by i'd never been i've known tom for a long 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 time but i've never been to his house yeah and uh and we had some time that afternoon uh to trek out there and uh and it was uh it was it was a hot experience <laughs> it was it was a good experience I hope it was you're as the kids this. say it was fire it was, fire. <laughs> it was literally fire <laughs> so yeah so we you know we 
checked out the the place and gave us the tour and and then he's taken us through his garage which he had never taken me in the garage before and right. uh, and i'm like oh he wants to show us a car or something right. and well, keep in know, mind tom was in a sling because yeah, tom had yeah. fallen out of his front porch and broke his radius or something like that yeah so he had he had one arm and a sling. one arm like this so he's like he opens the garage door and it goes out into an alley and he says he's all hey walk out there walk out there and we're walking out and before we can even turn around he's shooting a fucking flamethrower man like like he has a flame he's got one arm and he's a real flamethrower it's not flame. it's not just a it's not a lighter it's a yeah. real this thing flamethrower. it's shooting like 30 foot flames you know <laughs> and i'm and we're both like holy crap you know we're laughing and i'm like oh i gotta get this on camera so i get my phone and i go i got let me film this and and tom's like back up back up and i'm like okay and he goes no no further further like that and before i know it he shoots it at me now <laughs> we have the footage i have the footage here i'm gonna show, show it here we're gonna show it here. world exclusive the footage <laughs> so he as you'll see here he tells me to back up you know go further and then he shoots it and this you know it, it kind of engulfs me like i you know I'm, I'm looking through the lens and it and it just like grazed chris chris jumps yeah. out of the way i'll show it like this I yeah move. i'll show it in <laughs> slow motion too you'll see how close it gets to him and <clears throat> and then immediately chris points at my leg and says you're on fire and i look down and from my ankle to my knee it's not like there's a little it's on fire right it's, it's like on fire yeah and yeah. i panic you know and i swat it out for i wish i had had the you know frame of mind to film it you know but, but you know obviously you're on fire you're not thinking about i got to get this on camera right. um but i put it out it's like to my surprise it went out pretty easily um and Those then pants Chris, were wearing, man. <laughs> yeah the, the, i was wearing sweatpants yeah and, and people i mean normally i'm in shorts so i could have yeah. you know there's yeah, a good yeah. chance i could have been burned pretty bad if if you know yeah. I, um but but then tom you know if you just set someone on fire you would think the first thing would be, oh, my God, are you OK? Right. Yeah, no, Tom's I'm just sorry. Uh, nope. Tom's <laughs> just keeps shooting it in different directions and like, oh, no big deal. Walk it off, you know. Um, and Chris starts dying laughing and he's losing one, my mind. Yeah, he's all mind. you were on fire. Tom Savini set you on fire. <laughs> it's uh, in the video. You'll see yeah. the video if we show it here. I was losing my mind at that point this was less than 24 hours into the pittsburgh trip oh. and it was already worth it it was already like i was like i don't care what happens for the rest of the weekend <laughs> this was a hundred percent worth it <laughs> i got to watch great. tom savini set sean on fire that's it was worth it so worth it step so. back a bit i'm gonna step right. back yeah. a little bit <laughs> yeah go ahead step back more step All back right. more oh, yeah. oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you're on fire! Tom Savini set you on fire with a flamethrower! Jesus! Oh, oh Lord, okay. That was, I'm going home now. That was worth the <laughs> yeah. trip. So worth it. And I was almost jealous that he didn't set me on fire, but I got out of the way in time. I, I, I ducked out of there. I was yeah. That thing was coming right at us but it was pretty great and tom was great and, and he was uh very uh polite and cordial to take us through his house and and look at all his stuff he has so much stuff like yeah. it's wall to wall just masks and monsters and robots and swords and knives and and costumes and it's just it's it's a it's a it's a plethora of just movie stuff quick kick in your foot <laughs>
Sorry. I'm just hearing dun 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 dun. Am I? Yeah, you were you were kicking your foot and it's making dun 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 dun. Oh, okay. Just the um, sorry. Uh, and then he took us over to show us the fluffy mural that guy painted, which was really cool. And, and we, yeah. we got to see that too. Um, yeah, that was cool. And, and um, yeah, that was fun. Then we made it back to the hotel just in time to head to the game, uh, which, you know, it, it, I mean, it was cool being on the field. I'd never been on the field for a, a professional. I did it again. Professional. No, fo- uh, then you're hitting something that's making something rattle. Hmm. I don't know. Um, <laughs> not doing anything. I'm just sitting here. Uh, anyway, uh, so then they said, "Oh, we're going to upgrade your tickets to field level." So we were actually on the field for went to the first... Pittsburgh Steelers game. They, yeah. They, yeah, yeah, Pittsburgh Steelers, and we're right in the end zone. And it's like you know what? When you're on the field, you can't see shit. It's the it sucks. Yeah. You know, because there's cameras and there's there's personnel and there's equipment and there's the players. There's, I mean, it's the, everybody's players, blocking just, you. And so we're in the around. end zone. We're literally in the end zone. And finally, when they get down to that side, we're thinking, OK, we're going to get to be able to see it. And then the camera moves in front of us. <laughs> right, yeah. So then we're like, screw this. Let's go to our our regular seats, which were great. There were 50 yard line up about mid level. You could see everything. But the Steelers did not win. They got beat by the New England Patriots, who had like two wins. It was pretty right. sad. Which I could give two shits about. No, right, yeah, I know you're not a <laughs> not a football fan at all. Well, not I a don't football guy, but it was fun to go to the. It was game. fun to go. I mean, it was it was totally fun to go. It was fun to see the how spectacular those games are, even though it's not you know a, a main game. It's still pretty the the show and the spectacular and the fireworks and the people and the terrible towels and the uh, the, and the sticks amount and sticks was there i saw sticks Tommy did Shaw. the national anthem yeah that was pretty cool uh so uh it, it was even though i'm not really into football it was it was a lot of fun nonetheless and, name and we, had, your, we had we had a lot of cool people a, Oh, go ahead. Nice chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys (laughs) ended up. We just went in the clubhouse and and chatted for two hours. Pretty much. Going on. Yeah, it was uh, a lot of cool people with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah, We had, like I said, uh, the guy from Better Better Call Saul was right behind us. I can't remember his name. He's awesome. He's the he plays the attorney guy. um, His nemesis. I'll, I'll I'll drop a pick in here with his name. I can't remember off the top of my head. He's a super nice guy. Um, and then Dermot Mulroney and Matthew Lillard came with us. And yeah. um, who else was with us? Uh, it was Nay and... Nay and you and... Uh, uh, I think that's it, right? Matt, that's where we saw Peter Billingsley. There was and... some someone else in the car with us in that van. Matthew. I'm blanking. Dermot, you, me, nay. That was it. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. That was it. I idea. Um, yeah, well, the, fun. Promo- the promoter and his wife and kid and stuff, but mm-hmm. they didn't go in the car with us. But yeah, um, Bob, who's great. Um, yeah, and then we did the show. The show was was cool. I bought a lot of, I got a couple, picked up a couple of vintage figs, a couple of vintage Star Wars figs for the collection. And um, and then, I didn't buy uh, anything. I didn't buy a damn thing. Although I did get, I get, I got gifted by. There was a vendor there selling moonshine. Oh yeah, free moonshine. I got free moonshine. A big jar of flavored mounchine. It was coffee flavored moonshine. Yeah. I tried really that big. one. You, the, they gave me the one little baby one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't remember what flavor it was. It, I think it was. I think it was milkshake. I liked it. I took a sip of it, but I gave it to Nay. I think she drank it. Yeah. But yeah, um, it, I can't it, remember it, the name of the company. I wish I could plug them right now, but I can't remember. That sucks. I fucked up. Mm, mm, mm. Um, sorry. Sorry for the freeze down. Um, yeah, yeah. So that was a fun weekend. I oh, I have another little video. I could probably put it in here because I don't know what else I'd do with it. There was kind of a fun moment where um, the Christmas story cast they were asking to be um 
they they asked me if they could do a group photo with the screencast so it was like christmas story meets scream mm -hmm. so we got everybody in one photo um and nice. uh, it was pretty cool i filmed it while it was happening nice. the sequel you didn't know you needed I originally just put this footage in our video separately so you could see it and hear everything that was being said and everything, but I did not realize that in the background of this was some popular song playing, and of course it got copyright flagged. So I had to take the video down, re-edit it, and take out the sound in this one section. Fortunately, the song ends in just a moment, and then you'll get to hear a little bit of the actual sound and the banter between the cast uh, kind of really saying hello here at the end. And then uh, another song starts up again, but then we'll get back to our episode. Check it out. I started recording, too. I took pictures and recorded. All right. I know. I got the title of the film, Scream, A Christmas Story. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. The meeting of the two worlds. This is what happens when two worlds collide. A pretty cool moment. Now, back to our episode. Uh, that was fun. Then we had a dinner. We had a, a, a dinner with everybody, which was lovely. Yes. Well, <clears throat> what are you talking about the at the steak place? Yeah, uh, yeah. Went in that back room, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. it was cool. Then, I got to sit with Alex Winter and talk yeah. to him about mutual friends and movies and and his new movie. What is it? Destroy all neighbors. Destroy all neighbors, which looks so fun. Looks so um, fun. Saw the I hope it's one. good. I so hope it's good. I, I mean, I know it's too. not his movie. I mean, I, you know, he, he he didn't. I don't think he wrote or directed it but no. he, he's in it and i think and he's produced it yeah. yeah um but it looks very much in the vein of the wacky like idiot box freaked yeah uh building evil dead kind of kind of vibe like the nightmare stuff yeah um I'm it looks super fun and i'm excited to see it and uh, uh the trailer's pretty awesome i think it's on shutter it's gonna be on it's shutter. gonna be on shutter yeah, I got to find out when he said that premiere is going to be. He had said if I wanted to go, I definitely would go see that for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, yeah, so we had a big dinner there. Then we had a big party Sunday night in Skeet's room we we, where Jamie Kennedy ordered way too many chicken wings and pizza. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much food. Dude. There was, I felt like we should take this to a homeless shelter. There was so much food. I know. I, I, yeah, it was out of control. And then uh, we played uh, a card game called Shithead and watched the uh, the Philly Cowboys game. Um, and uh, yeah, Philly. Sorry, sorry, Fly Eagles Fly. They've been on a, they've been flying downward. They've been three in a row they've lost. I know that means nothing to you, Chris, but in the world of football, that's a big deal. Big deal, yeah. guys. Oh, yeah. Big deal. The guys with their balls. The guys, guys with the balls. With their oh, balls. yeah, brother. So we had a great weekend, Steel City. And then I came home and I, uh, Nay's family came to visit. Her, well, her brother couldn't make it, but her mom and dad came and stayed with us for a week. And we <clears throat> were entertaining them uh, while at the same time I was trying to get this house ready for our Christmas party, um, which my God, what an undertaking. I'm glad everybody had a good time. I, I literally got everything done like 20 minutes before the first person arrived. I mean, it was that to the wire and I was staying up insane hours, just trying to basically get my toy room slash prop room in order for people to go in there because it was it was an episode of hoarders in there it was bad news it was <laughs> well it uh, looked great you did a great job you pulled it together so it yeah really yeah good. i i i'm i'm pleased i didn't get everything done that i wanted to get done but i, I it, you know i got it to where everybody was impressed and so we had uh yeah 
Friday night we went to Knott's Mary Farm. Uh, we did that, the fam, and that was a lot of fun. And then Saturday night was the party, and that was a blast. I, I, you know, it's one thing about having a party is you never feel like you get to uh, spend the proper amount of time with everybody. Like I felt yeah. like you and I barely spoke that night. We did, um, yeah, yeah. Um, which you know, after you left, I was like, damn, I really got didn't you know? But I had, you know. Nay's family here. I had my aunt who was and her husband who the next day she was moving. So I felt like I need I definitely need to spend as much time with her as possible. Hmm. And you know, anyway. You had a lot of guests. It was crowded. It was and it, it was, was pretty crowded there for I, a minute. I think I over invited because yeah. there there's a few people didn't make it you know um mm. and if 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 man if everybody had him as there got to there got to a point where nay and i were like jesus we should invite these people but man i think we got too many people you know and we we kind of had too many people it, yeah. i mean it, it wasn't bad but there were certain points where it was like you know it, well I, when everybody came into the kitchen to, to eat and stuff like that that's where it was maximum capacity it was, yeah there's a couple moments where there was a lot of people, but you know, for the most part, everyone spread out pretty good. Yeah. And, you know, the people in the backyard playing cornhole and, yeah. you know, people looking at your rooms and people playing pinball and, you know, people eating and people drinking. It was, it was a really good party. It was very when we were all upstairs in the TV room doing the seek the uh, white elephant gift yeah. exchange. Yeah. I really was thinking, wow, there's a lot of weight in this room right now, <laughs> you know, like there's, there's like 30 people in there on yeah. top of all those heavy video game machines. Those yeah. things are heavy. I was like, man, we're really going to test out the strength of this, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you used you, you start to wonder what is the capacity? Like, right. You know, you, it's not sure. something you usually think about, right. um, but anyway, nobody died. Uh, seemed like everybody had a good time. The, the white elephant gift exchange was, was a good one. Lots of stealing, lots of, uh, it, it went on for a long time. It did. And, uh, that was fun. Yeah. We, uh, I had a good time and it was great to see everybody. I'll drop in some pics here of the, of the festivities. It was lovely. I ate way too many cookies that Nay bought oh, for me. Nay, dude. Nay, Nay bought a specific kind of cookie that I like and. There were tons of them and I ate almost all of them, but, uh, but I went to the gym that day. So that was, uh, <laughs> I, I worked it off. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So that was fun. Um, and that was our, that was our Christmas antics. Um, yep. all right. So let's, I got some topics here, some things. So we've had, we've had some death. We always like to talk oh, about boy. the death. Here we go. The death. Uh, uh Norman Lear. Yeah. Was, I was, I mean, if I don't know how many people are familiar with Norman Lear, created some of the greatest sitcoms of all time. All in the Ooh. Family, one of my favorites. Jefferson's. Jefferson's, yeah. Amazing. Um, he recently passed. Ryan O'Neill. Ryan O'Neill, yeah. Yep. Uh, Marty Croft. Marty Croft, Croft. Died, yeah. But just yesterday, uh, I don't know if you heard about this one. Jim Ladd. Jim Ladd, yeah, I heard about that. Now, a lot of people might not know who Jim Ladd is unless you grew up in Southern California. He was a famous disc jockey here. With He was with uh, KMET. He was with KLOS, most famously. Yeah. Um, but if you're a Pink Floyd, Roger Waters fan, you might know Jim Ladd from... He's the disc jockey on Roger Waters' album, uh, Radio Chaos. He basically narrates the entire album like a radio station thing and i had the pleasure of going to the radio chaos tour back in 87 at long beach arena and jim ladd was on stage live doing that with them oh, wow. it was really cool. That's cool um one of my favorite parts of that tour or, or or of that particular show was there was a section of the show where they took a break and they had a telephone booth set up in the back of the arena mm -hmm. and fans could go into the telephone booth and like they're calling into the radio station and ask Roger Waters questions. It was oh, pretty, wow. it was pretty cool. That's interesting. It, that segment didn't last long, but it was just like a cool little like right. throw into the whole, this is a radio station vibe, you know? 
Right. Um, but yeah, Jim Ladd just had one of those voices, man. Like it's just an iconic voice, a smooth, something soothing about listening to him talk. Um, yeah. Everybody's anyway. heard Jim Ladd. You just don't know that you heard Jim Ladd. Yeah. Exactly. So I did watch uh, some, we'll get into some stuff we've watched. Okay. I did watch uh, The Killer. You had said you'd seen it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I told you this. We talked a little bit about this off air, but I really enjoyed it. It is, like you said, a slow burn. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't have much of a payoff in the end. It just kind of ends. Yeah. But, but I enjoyed it. I actually, yeah. I, I was never unentertained. I, the whole time I was engaged with it and I, I enjoyed it. Right. So. Yeah, it's a good film. It's just you get to the end of it and you go, that's it? Is yeah. that what it was about? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Which is okay, because David Fincher is such a great filmmaker. So, you know, uh, uh, it's still good. It's a good movie. Oh, I also, uh, my my buddy Ace, uh, I, I, he actually sent us some, some of those beers we drank um, uh, on the last episode. I had credited uh just a couple other guys but i missed ace i think his last name's hanley mm. um and uh he had sent us some of those beers i think like the blue milk one and uh the some of those that weren't so weird um mm. so i i want to make sure to give him credit because he messaged me like bro i sent you <laughs> those beers I'm like don't you know he didn't uh, send the pickle one though right he did not send the pickle one right. that was ever scathed. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll never forgive you always, for that. Yeah. You can always forever, you know, curse I'll ever him. scathe you. Yeah. Um, I watched the, uh, documentary sly. Did you watch that? Yeah. I watched that. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Um, however, I think the one thing, the one part I was disappointed about, was I really wanted to hear him talk about Sage and and his mm. passing, and they kind of mm -hmm. just glossed over that. Yeah, the big time they just yeah. glossed over it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I actually had no idea that that he had died. I was sitting there the whole time, going, "When are we going to talk to him?" Really? I had no idea. Yeah, I, I had no idea. I don't know why. Uh, I, just... I I I kind of knew him. Um, he back in the day at the fangoria conventions he he would always be he was a big cinephile mm. um and uh he uh he always went to the fangoria weekend of horrors and was hanging out and we partied with him and stuff and and um i'm looking it up right here what is it? man it's hard to believe it's been 11 years since he died going on 12. Jeez. um but um <clears throat> let's see let me see what what the cause of death was if it says it says cause it says heart attack wow um coronary artery disease which caused a heart attack oh and he was I, young i know he was he yeah 36 wow, uh, he was he was he was a hard partier for sure oh was he um, and he had gained quite a bit of weight uh hmm. he wasn't fat fat but he was you know pretty chubby dude and not really in shape um mm. but he uh, he started that grindhouse release no. like he started that company mm. uh, i don't know if you knew that they were releasing all of these old uh titles yeah. on dvd and stuff i didn't so, know that yeah I, I, he was a really nice guy I, I i hung out with him quite a bit i wouldn't say i knew him knew him like if he saw me he'd be like hey bro you know like that kind of thing right. but because we were always you know, in the same circles, but <clears throat> I didn't know him, know him, but really nice guy. Um, kind of quiet a little bit, very, uh, he had a very sarcastic -y kind of wit, very dry. I was just kind of bummed how he, yeah, how it, it just kind of, when it got to that, it was literally like on the screen, like Sage Stallone and yeah. date of birth, date of death. And then fade to black moving on <laughs> and right. was like, yeah wait, i was too i was really shocked at that, that they yeah get into that more. maybe it sly doesn't like to talk about it obviously or obviously yeah i don't know 
But yeah. amazing how prolific that guy is, you know, like him or not, Sylvester Stallone, just a yeah. prolific painter and artist and and businessman and and obviously move. I was uh, I thought it was funny the whole rivalry between him and Schwarzenegger and stuff. I thought yeah. that was fun, you know, which they yeah. both touched on in their documentaries because Schwarzenegger has a documentary out too, you know. So, uh, uh, but uh, I, I haven't seen amazing. Schwarzenegger's yet. It's okay. It's it's all right. It's 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 mostly about his childhood a lot, and you know his bodybuilding, bodybuilding, and you know, and then and it's in three segments. Kind of, there's his childhood, becoming a bodybuilder, his bodybuilding career, then his movie career, and then also his governor career. Hmm. So it's a it's an interesting documentary. It's pretty 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 amazing the 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 different lives that that guy has lived. I mean, just how successful that guy is over just sheer drive. You know, yeah. he did everything he ever wanted to do. Uh, and it's amazing that somebody can do that in their lives. Not a lot of people have that, obviously. So pretty crazy. I also watched Saw X. Okay. Didn't see it, but go ahead. I mean, yeah. You know it i liked the concept you know it's it's a prequel i think between two and three i believe and uh yeah i like the the concept of it's you know jigsaw's dying of cancer and he gets scammed <laughs> which i find hilarious by the way i don't know why i find that funny oh well, he was always dying of cancer in all the movies um all the time always but dying. then he uh he then gets conned into going to this experimental treatment in Mexico. Come to find out the whole thing is bullshit and they just are stealing his money. So he gets revenge. <laughs> He's going to teach it. them a lesson. That's the point of the movie. He's going to play a game. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It, he does these big elaborate games to get back at people. Somehow he had time to put all these big elaborate time games together. Time and um, money after uh, while he's dying of cancer. Yep. I mean that's the that's the that's my big now, I'm not a huge saw, saw guy. I'm yeah. not a huge saw guy. So I mean I saw the first one. I don't think I, I love the first one. Any of the other ones. Does is he supposedly is he the guy that builds all these traps? Yeah. He's the guy that builds all this stuff. He's got a lot of free time. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. See, Just that's the that's the part that makes no sense that's so unrealistic. Right. There's no amount of time in one person's life that they could have built all these traps. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, especially when you're dying of cancer and you have very little time. Um sure. but with that said, definitely not the worst in the series. Um okay. and Tobin. Tobin is always rock solid. I mean, he's great as that character. He is, right. but the, you know, whatever. Um, I watched the haunted mansion movie. Oh shit. I haven't even Oof. gotten up the guts to watch that. Oof. I, I, How's I, that? I can't believe I'm going to say this. I think the Eddie Murphy one was better. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. Wow. It wow. is really bad wow yeah how how are the 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 makeups and makeup effects and stuff in it or was it all digital a mostly all covered. digital yeah. it was mostly digital um yeah. too bad it's just bad it's just it's just bad like and the lead guy uh, zero i don't know what's going on the guy is just like playing it like zero emotion mm -hmm. i it's it yeah how is Jamie Lee Curtis? Isn't she in it? She's there. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. And, and steam. Paycheck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, well, it's funny is because I heard some people say online, what the hell's going on with her accent, right? Mm -hmm. People were talking about her accent. I'm watching the movie. I'm not noticing an accent at all mm. until the, like end of the movie where there's suddenly there's this accent that I'm mm. like, Oh, it's I'd almost. Yeah. I, there's a weird accent that kind of came out of nowhere at the end of the movie. Okay. I don't know. I, wow. It's, the whole I'll skip thing. That one. I'm going to skip that one. 
there's a lot of great nods to the ride. Right. You know, Easter eggs for people that are fans of the ride. But I just don't understand how Disney keeps fucking this one up. Yeah. It, it To me, the no brainer is get fucking Henry Selleck, have him do a stop motion animation musical-esque type thing a la mm-hmm. Nightmare Before Christmas of Haunted mm-hmm. Mansion. Mm-hmm. That's what it needs to be. Right. No humans. No, you know, a stop motion animation, Mad Monster Party, Nightmare Before Christmas right. vibe, f- f- musical, you know, add the musical element right. to it. It could be a classic. And, and I would really love to see what Guillermo del Toro was going to do. Because mm-hmm. I think he would have done it right, too. Mm. I don't think he would have gone in that direction, you know, stop motion. Right. But I think he could have at least not fucked it up. I mean, I because right. he's a fan of the ride and he gets he gets that vibe it needs, you know. Right. I would like um, to read that script. I bet you, you can find it online. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, it's a shame that he didn't get to do it. Uh yeah. okay. you watch anything recently we haven't discussed? Uh Let's see. Killer. I enjoyed that. Um, I watched Barbie. Okay, Barbie. Let's go party. I, I watched Barbie. Um, wow. I'm shocked you watched that. I, well, I watched it on the plane. You know what? I almost did watch it on the plane, but I was editing on my laptop and, and I decided to keep it. Well, I watched it because it made a billion dollars and everybody loved it, including <clears> people <throat> that I talked to that I would have never guessed in a million years that they would like the Barbie movie. And they were like, it's actually not bad, man. It's actually pretty good. And they were doing that shit. And I'm like, okay. And everybody kept saying that, including Stephanie was like, it's actually kind of funny. And I'm like, who are you? I don't even know who the fuck you are right now. (laughs) So I, uh, I, I was like, well, I can't, I can't walk around and, and comment on something that I haven't seen. Uh, so I thought I should watch it mm-hmm. and it made a billion dollars. And I, all I can say is I live in a world where Barbie made a billion dollars. I, I don't, I, 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 it just wasn't for me. I didn't get it. I mean, I got it. Like I get, did you see it? Mm-hmm. There's a whole patriarchy, a whole things about patriarchy and, and girl power. And of course, and all this stuff, which I support girl power. Woohoo. Um, <laughs> But uh, uh, it was so sincere. <laughs> it's true. I do. I do. I totally do. I support girl power. Woohoo. Um, but I just, it's not my movie, man. I just didn't get, I, I, it's just not for me. I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. Again, I live in a world where that movie is the biggest movie of the year. Like that movie is a billion dollar movie made over a billion dollars. That movie, hmm. and I and it it blows my mind. It was, I'm curious. I found it, I found I, it insipid and and lowest common denominator, and I I, I found it uh, 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 just uh, uh, almost speechless. To be honest with you, I mean it's a well made movie with the, the director and the and the Greta Gerwig. Design. Thing Greta Gerwig is from it's House a, of the well, Devil. It's a well-made film, mm-hmm. um, as far as budget goes and and production design and stuff. But just wow, just not for me, man. I just don't. I'm sorry, sorry, everybody. <laughs> yeah. And I went into it wanting to have fun. You know, I was like, okay, you know, fuck it. I'm just gonna go have fun and watch this movie. I just definitely not for me. And the other the other movie I saw. That was not for me. Um, was Thanksgiving? I saw Thanksgiving. Did we talk about this already? On the on the last no. show? No, I th- I said that I had seen it and I enjoyed it. I, I mean... saw it. Not not for me. Definitely not for me. I don't I don't know. You can't. You know what, you guys? You can't bust my chops about Exorcist after having seen that movie. You just can't. You can't. You're not allowed. I don't care. Get off my lawn with that. <laughs> you can't do it nope nope absolutely fucking not and they greenlit a second one so i I don't know you know but uh but yeah so it wasn't for me uh what else did i see i watched um 
uh no one will save you okay what'd you think um i enjoyed it i i thought i i thought it was it was really it it was really cool um i felt like they showed the aliens a little too much too quickly um i really enjoyed like before you really got to see them and you were just seeing shadows and like you know figures and figures and like the feet and yeah um and then they it's one of those things where they showed it so much you kind of got little desensitized to it pretty quickly Mm. um the whole no dialogue thing i thought was really cool up to the point where she went into the city and then it just seemed really forced like they're really trying not to talk now you know and it's Right, right it seemed a little silly at that point um but i enjoyed it i thought it it's yeah. definitely worth seeing uh, it, yeah, it I had agree. you know vi- it had vibes of signs and uh fire, and in, fire the in the sky for sure yeah. um which i'm a big fan of fire in the sky yeah, um, me too it was good it was it was good i liked it i yeah. i i give it uh, a thumbs up thumbs up Anything else you've seen? Um, I'm trying to remember. My brain is not working. I have one more. What? What is it? I just watched Leave the World Behind. Oh, okay. I've been seeing that. Is that the one with Ethan Hawke and Julia Julia Roberts, Roberts. I think? Yeah. Okay. How is it? Bacon. I haven't watched it yet. How is it? You know, the first, like, 20 minutes... I was like, man, I'm like, I think I should probably turn this off. Mm. It it just immediately out the gate, the music choice, like the songs they chose mm. for this. I don't know who was the music director on this film, like who, who picked these songs, mm. but it really, I was like, is this supposed to be a comedy? Is this what, wait, this seems like a joke now. I mean, this one opening track just took me out of the movie. Uh, hmm. You'll see what I mean when you watch it. And then the way Julia Roberts was playing it seemed a bit over the top. And I, I was tr- really trying to figure out if this was supposed to be serious or if it was supposed to be, I don't know. Anyway, it starts off pretty weak like that. But hmm. then this family, a father and a daughter show up at the house, that's when it starts to get good. And from that point in, it kind of, it, it kept me. I like the whole idea of it. Um, It's got a controversial ending. Apparently there's a lot of talk about people hated the ending or some people thought the ending was great. I kind of like the ending because if you start to think about like, it kind of, I like endings that kind of leave, don't wrap it up and you kind of you don't know where you know i wonder what happened kind of thing you know i enjoyed it i i I think it's worth seeing and ethan hawks i love ethan hawk man ethan hawk's great yeah he's he's pretty Uh, solid he's good have you watched killers of the flower moon i have not i'm gonna watch that tonight i i want to see it but i've heard you know because i'm a fan of those actors i'm a fan of scorsese but I've heard, everybody I've talked to said it's just really kind of meh. Like it's really? like you know, it's yeah. kind of dull. Hmm. So I don't. know. I could see that. I could see that. There's nothing. I mean, I'm not dying to see it. It's just I should see it because it's Scorsese, and it's you know, I want to I want to check it out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out, and I'm also gonna check out <clears throat> Silent Night, the John Woo movie. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I, I'm a. I'm curious, I was so. a big John Woo fan, man, in the Me '90s. Too. Like, yeah. I, I met him a couple times. Um, I, I've got I've got this really nice killer original killer one sheet uh, signed by him and Chow Young Fat. I met both of them at oh, a, wow. at the Shrine Auditorium when they used to do the L.A. Comic Con. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I was all. I was kind. You know. Uh, he did face off, right? Didn't he do face off? Was that yeah. him? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I know he did hard target. Did he do face off? Face look. off. I'm gonna. Look. Seems like a John Woo movie, doesn't it? 
I mean, it really does. John Woo. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's funny because uh, I think like I feel like his movies weren't really taken serious when he started um, directing American films, you know, um, like he like that one in hard target and, and suddenly he just kind of went away, you know, it was like, mm-hmm. um, well, this is his first movie in a long time, right? Something yeah. Like 10 years or something. Like yeah. That. Who's in it? Who's in, some... Oh, it's, it's um, a dude from RoboCop, the remake, um, the remake, or he was in suicide squad. Yeah. I can't, uh, I can't remember his name. <laughs> Josh, Josh, Joe, Joel, Joel, something. Joel. You're right. It's Joel, Joel, something. I'm going to look right now. He was the star of that. Oh, he was a he was a star of that move that series, The Killing. I really that was a really good series, The Killing. Joel Kinnaman. That's right. <clears throat> Joel Kinnaman. Who was in um, Suicide Squad, which I yeah. can't believe I forgot his name. So, uh, and uh, what was that that series he did? That sci fi series not too long ago. It was pretty good too. I I was getting into it. Um, uh, but I really liked the killing. That was, a, if you guys haven't seen the killing, that was a great series. Um, can a man, it was called, that's like a one word name. I think it starts with an A and it was called, I'm getting to it any second now. Altered okay? carbon. Altered carbon. That's right. Yeah. I think it's time for some get off my lawns. All right, go. Um, <laughs> I still have the same one. I don't need to hear your opinion on The Exorcist. I'm posting pictures of makeups. I'm plugging my makeups for the award season. I don't need to hear what you thought of the movie. I don't care. Tell me the makeups look cool. Tell me you like the makeups. Tell me, you know, whatever. I don't need to hear your opinion of the movie. Every day, I got to delete five, six, seven fucking comments of some asshole going, the movie fucking sucks, piece of shit, you should be embarrassed about yourself. Who says that? Why? What's your point? Grow up. What are you, 12? Anyway, and then I post a picture of the fucking demon with the saggy boobs. Oh, it looks like my grandma. It looks like my fucking wife. It looks like my... You like saggy tits, Nelson, do you? You know, all these fucking comments. It's like, what are you, 12? Grow the fuck up. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. What are your thoughts on saggy tits? <laughs> um, so uh, I thought, well, I guess this is kind of a get off my lawn. It's just kind of a weird thing I saw. It was in... I was in a Target in Atlanta where they're doing <clears throat> Mad Monster Party Atlanta. And I went to Target to buy some stuff. And I see this guy <clears throat> walking down the aisle, literally like taking bottles of like what are tequila or whatever in the, you know, I guess liquor section, just sticking them in his pants. And I'm like, <laughs> and he's like blatantly doing it. Right. right. And I hadn't seen anything like that. You know, I've I've seen all the stuff on TV of all the theft oh, going on this and all that. Right. And I was like, should I say something? Not not to him, but should I say something? So something should, like, should you should you notify a Target employee? Yeah. yeah. And I, you know, I mean, hey, I don't think it's fair that we go and have to pay for things and people are just stealing them. I I'm, I'm against that. All right. I, you can call I, me a tattletale. Fuck off. Uh, you know, and this is you know, stealing alcohol too. fuck this guy. Right. So I go and I find an employee and I said, Hey, you know, this guy is walking down the aisle, just putting bottles in his pants, you know? And she's like, uh, uh and she sees like this uh, i'm i'm literally like in the back room like i went through the back doors because i followed an employee in there and she calls over like two other dudes that, you know they come up and they're like what's up and i said there's this guy and they're like we got cameras like they didn't care they just didn't care don't care, don't they, care. it's below their pay wage yeah 
don't care. above their pay wage yeah wow yeah it's just it's just crazy the world we it's the world we live in man nobody cares about anything anymore to there's this theater in orange county called the frida it's it seems like it's trying to be like the orange county version of like the new bev or something right. except for they don't do only 35 millimeter or whatever they do some film screenings but it's mostly digital um but they have a trivia night and it's not horror trivia it's just general movie trivia Mm -hmm. and a couple friends of mine that live around here go and occasionally they'll say hey you want to come okay so i go and um i go to the snack bar and it says on the sign on the snack bar like the menu uh, has list diet coke and it has even has the logo you know it's like not just written it's the and i said now have a large diet coke and blah, blah, blah. paper straw of course <laughs> um and then i go i start to walk away i take a sip and i'm like the fuck what is this i'm like i come back up and i go hey i asked for diet coke what and uh, what you know I don't think this is Diet Coke. Oh, it's Coke Zero. I said, Diet, you know, says Diet Coke. I ordered that. Oh, it's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. It's not. That's why they have two different names. If it was the same thing, it would be one. They're completely different. And it just frustrated me that you have it on the menu, but you're serving something else. Something else. I mean, you might as well be giving me Shasta. You know, you might as well be giving me tab RC, you know, (laughs) I mean, (laughs) it, 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 I don't know. I like the theater. Cool place, but guys, you need to fix that. Get your soda shit together. Get some plastic straws for God's sakes. Yeah. I mean, as long as your uh, lids are still plastic, uh, you know, you, you don't have a fight, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Um, there you go. Wooden lids. I went to where was i the other night i wrote down the scenario but i can't remember where i was it was uh i don't know it was i was getting lunch somewhere i don't remember but the price was eleven dollars and 41 cents right i handed the guy eleven dollars and 51 cents and he looks at it and he goes he looks at me and i'm like you know and he goes sorry man i'm just trying to do math he actually said that to me and I, and I'm like, it's 10 cents right. change, 10 right. cents. You know, right. the, the 51 when it's supposed to be 41 really fucked with him. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid getting more pennies. Right. Anyway, I, it's, I weep for the future. You know, it's a, I was having an interesting conversation with somebody else about how, you know, kids today are not learning how to write cursive yeah that's, I, that's true. crazy yeah that's true they i don't mean teach cursive anymore I, I, do you write cursive um i have this weird serial killer thing where i write both mm-hmm. i kind of fluctuate in between both yeah i mean I don't really write cursive very often, mm. uh, but I can, obviously, you know, mm-hmm. it's just strange. That's weird. Yeah. I, I went to a, I, I, I have a get off my lawn. I went to a bar the other night to have drinks with a friend of mine uh, to catch up about work and career and all that kind of business, mm-hmm. you know, talk about the business and went to a bar and it's one of those bars where you have to walk up and get your own drink. Mm-hmm. Like there's no waitresses or waiters or anything. And you have to walk up, stand in the line, get your own drink. And if you want food, you have to order the food from the same place. You have to go up to the counter, order the food. And then they don't bring it to you. You have to go and get it. When it comes out, they call a number and you have to get it. And I'm supposed to tip these assholes. <laughs> i'm supposed to tip these guys like they look at you like you're an asshole if you don't give them a, a fucking big tip it's like wait a minute what did you do you didn't do anything i got up i had to get my own shit i had to order my own shit i have to pick up my own shit what am i tipping you for 
nothing. That's why you're not tipping them. So this is something I love. This is, I, I, I think this is kind of great. This is like a small victory for me is when I go to a place and I order something, you know, right there. And then they hand you the, the pad like this and it says tip, you know, 15, 18, 20%. And mm -hmm. I go, I'm paying cash. And they go, you see, you see them get so bummed because then they have to cancel that. And right, now I'm right. not being asked for a tip because I'm paying cash. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. I love it. I yeah. love it. Let's yeah. get back to cash. No more automatic tipping. Tip I agree. Back to cash. It. Get off my lawn. I agree. Um, let's see. Okay. I've talked about this before. I think I've talked about this more in the, uh, the, thumbnails uh that youtubers use but i'm so sick of these of these youtubers that act like everything's great this fake bullshit man i i because i like to go to disneyland and knott's berry farm and and uh i'm a bit of a foodie and nay and i will go and we'll try different things kind of like we do on our fair video but we'll do it at like knott's or disneyland i just right. don't want to document it every time but a lot of them, they have these seasonal items because it's Christmas. They have all these crazy Christmas things. So I wanted to get a heads up on like what looks really good, what is good. So I watched a couple of YouTuber videos on the food items mm -hmm. and every one of them, man, they're just so fake. It's like they're just sucking Mickey's teat. You know, they're just <laughs> I mean, it's like everything they bite into. It's like, oh, my God. Mm, this this is fabulous oh my god don't you think so oh yeah babe this is amazing and you're just like fucking kill both of you and then i go and i order a few of these things i'm like this is trash what are you talking about you know it's but like that's the thing about youtube now though that that, that youtubers have to like everything because then you get free shit and yeah. you get more and you get more people watching and you get they get free stuff and they get endorsements if you like everything then people then then these companies and these outfits know to go to you to plug their shit because you're going to love it and you're going to give them a rave review so everybody yeah. loves everything on youtube everybody loves everything drives me crazy that's a good get yeah. off my lot man because but it's it's not including just movies it, and television you know, agreed and it's, and it's just like that's what's so i mean and it's so frustrating you can tell they're full of shit you can tell right. they're lying you know right. and you know when they do say mm, yeah this is you know this is a little this is not really what i you might boy that must be taste like shit if you're actually giving right. me an opinion that you don't really like it <laughs> i mean it, it must be awful um but yeah i'm just i'm sick of i'm sick of all these fake like these personalities p these youtubers put on and it's funny how as i've kind of talked about this before but so many fans will come up to me at conventions and say dude I so agree with that shit. I can't even watch this channel because those guys are so fake. They're putting on this act, you know, mm -hmm. like everything is like constantly like, you know, right. it's, it's like, I know that's not how you really are. Right. You know, just fucking stop with the bullshit. Just talk about the stuff, you know, I mean, but, uh, here's the thought. Just be honest. Yeah. I mean, you ain't going to get a more honest channel than this one. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I mean, I pull back a lot because I have to work in this industry. So yeah. I don't get to say as much as I'd like to say what I'd really like to say. But, uh, you know, but yeah, you, you, I, I, the YouTube thing, I stopped watching YouTube a lot because everybody's just loves everything and likes everything. And then also too, you get the people that are going, that you know you, you their little thumbnail is is you know they have the title of the movie and they're going like this <laughs> or they're going <laughs> or they're like <laughs> or they're going like, <laughs> right with a, question marks by the yeah. movie you know they're, like, they're looking at the the, the the they put the character and then they're going right right i don't even <laughs> have to watch your channel now i don't even have to watch your little yeah. video because i already know what you're going to say 
And you know what? And that's probably one of the reasons. I, I mean, I don't agree with this guy uh, a lot with a lot of maybe politically or whatever, you know, this and that. But I love watching Dave Port- Portnoy's pizza reviews every day mm. because, you know, the guy is honest. Like, he don't give a fuck. He does, you mm. know. Right. Uh, did you see the one? Do you watch it at all? Have you ever seen it? No, I don't. It sounds sh- sounds great. I would like to. Every day he tries a different pizza place, right? Oh, okay. it's, it's called One Bite. He does a whole that One Bite. Everybody knows the rules. You've never seen this before? No. Uh-uh. Oh, anyway, w- look up the episode. It was about two months ago. He goes to a place called Dragon Pizza. Just look mm-hmm. up One Bite Dragon Pizza. Okay. Dude, it is so fucking funny. He gets into it with the owner, like the owner, for whatever reason, the, to to be fair, the owner was a prick. And for whatever reason, he, he, he go, cause he'll go in, he'll buy a pizza and he'll go, he walks outside with it and he, and he gives a review. The guy comes out and tells him, you know, I don't want, you know, get out of here. I don't want you here or something. Like, and he gets into it with the guy, dude. And they, the verbal exchange is pretty epic. Wow. Yeah. And he's like, fuck amazing. you. Go fuck yourself. He's just like, <laughs> like he's, he goes, your pizza is garbage. You know, he's just like, hey, it, it, it's pretty funny. I mean, and he's this out. guy from Boston. So he's, you know, right. he's got the Boston accent. And anyway, I've, I've been watching him for years. I, I, I'm surprised you never heard of him. Um, no, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to yeah. check it out. Because uh, I love pizza. That's my favorite food. But to be fair... Like I went to when I, we were in Connecticut, we went to a pizza place that was one of his highest rated ones. Mm-hmm. I wasn't impressed. Mm. I mean, obviously people like different things. One thing I know about him, he likes thin crust. He likes it very crispy. He has a specific like, you know, if it's super crispy and, it, you know, me, I like I like it a little doughier. I like, mm-hmm. it, you know, he doesn't right. like thick. I like thick. You know, I, I'm, I love all kinds of pizza but yeah, he has exactly. a specific his specific kind you know right um so i don't really always go completely by what he says but i did go to one in connecticut with scott and frankie from anthrax and, like they wanted to go there i th- maybe they had been there before i don't remember but anyway it was good it just wasn't like holy shit this is like right. the best i mean it was like in his top five you know right I do want to say uh, I've discovered, I don't know if I played this band for you, but if you haven't had a chance to check them out, I'm becoming a quick fan of this band. And uh, it just kept popping up in my feed. And I finally said, okay, I'm going to check them out and see what they're all about. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a three piece girl band Mm -hmm. uh, called the warning. Have you heard them? No, I'm already in with three piece girl band. I'm in. Dude, they're fucking great. Hmm. I mean, and but is it emo horseshit though? Because no. I don't like that shit. It's not emo horseshit. What is it? What kind of music is it's it? It's rock. Okay. They fucking rock. All right. Um, seriously, go look look up on YouTube. The I warning. Will. I'm always up for a new band. Evolve. Okay. So now there's the music video and then there's a live version from an MTV like award show. Mm-hmm. Watch the live version. Mm. Dude, they are fucking good. And it's mm. three sisters. They're from mm-hmm. Mexico, three girls. Mm-hmm. And uh they've been playing since they were little kids. Like if I started kind of going down a rabbit hole mm-hmm. and dude, there's videos of them when they were like, you know, 7 years old playing. I mean, they're all amazing musicians, mm-hmm. great singers, cute. I mean, oh, I think the package. they have the whole package. I think they are going to be huge. Mm-hmm. In my, I, I've been watching them grow already since I discovered them a couple months ago. But I, I have a feeling I, they should be as big as like a billy eilish or a taylor swift i mean i i could see a lot of young girls gravitating is it is it poppy they have there there's another song um called more which has a pop element like Mm -hmm. you when you first listen to it you're like oh wait a second this is different but then it it kicks into a heavy rock thing right and i like that song too i i've heard 
uh, the most of what I've heard from them, I, I like, mm. I, and, and I'm not a big fan of girl bands either. Um, mm. uh, you know, I, I, I very rarely gravitate to female singers. Um, mm. uh, I mean, you know, I, of course, I got a thing. I, I have a total thing for female rock bands. Yeah. So, I think you're going to love them. I, I, I mean, I'm, I love that shit. I think you're going to love them. Check. All right. The warning. The evolve. The, evolve watch the, the live version. Okay. But the band there's, is the warning. Yeah. Okay. There's a section, there's a breakdown in the song mm. where, like, uh, where the drummer kind of starts like yelling to the audience, like, you know, and, and it, it does this build up where the drummer just screams. It's fucking rad, man. I was like, okay holy shit i was like impressed and they all can sing they 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 all harmonize they all have good right. voices um and I'm they're down. very I'm always they're very animated something. which i love too they're very animated on stage like right. i i see no downside to them whatsoever i mean they're i think they're just gonna go up cool. so, i'll check it out yeah definitely check that out um and i don't really get into new music i don't really give new music a fan, uh, a chance it just kept popping up on my on my uh uh youtube suggestion um let, let's oh here's a get off my lawn so all these people kept making a big <laughs> hoopla about pam anderson uh With no makeup know, no makeup right, and just yeah. how brave she is she's so brave if you see her she's so brave i'm like it, it's it seems lazy to me <laughs> is, bra is brave really the word that we're looking yeah. for here yeah i mean it just i mean it, it, it's just so funny what people celebrate nowadays it'd oh, be God, like geez. it'd be like if i just i don't feel like getting dressed up today i'm just gonna go out looking <laughs> sh look how brave sean is he's brave he wore his pajamas to the shopping mall he's so, he's so brave, brave. <laughs> yeah. i mean hey i wore my slippers to the post office i'm brave yeah i mean uh I, I don't know how brave that is um uh, but uh well i mean i you know again girl power i support girl power woohoo patriarchy yeah barbie you know i mean yeah <laughs> the warning know, the warning <laughs> yeah. uh, um no i just i just i kept seeing it and i'm like well what did she do Wait, did is it she just didn't wear makeup? Wait, did, did she do something else? What did she save a baby? What happened? What right. was the, the bravery part? Oh, right. okay. She didn't put makeup on that. She thing. Wasn't brave enough to have the implants removed. Well, yet. you know, she's got the whole, she's got the whole. She was a sex symbol and a, you know, her image, and then now she's going against the image. And oh, how about this? If I start showing up in public with my hair flat. Flat. can i will people call me brave it's like Sean. You, know, it, you don't have to deal with the patriarchy man you don't have to deal with the patriarchy <laughs> oh, i want to be brave uh, what's going on with this hall and oats restraining order man come on <laughs> you know I mean, who would have thought man. that hall and oats you know what's funny is i met a dude there's a guy in the convention world i can't remember exactly what he does but i keep running into him he works with other clients uh, at conventions and mm -hmm. he worked for holland oats mm -hmm. and he's worked for them forever and he would always go hey man if you ever want to come to a concert i got you know i'll hook you up blah 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 yeah you know? mm -hmm. and i was like i want to take him up on that then i hear about this i'm like well <laughs> that's too bad now yeah i saw holland oats open for tears for fears they were great they're great i mean dude they're they were great catalog man. of hits is endless endless they're so good. I love Holland Oats. I'm not embarrassed to say that. So, fuck you I'm, if you don't like. I'm, I, I like Holland Oats. I, I just think it's crazy that Daryl Hall has put a restraining order on John Oats. <laughs> what could John Oats possibly have done? Well, what could they he say have John fucking Oats. <laughs> well, they what said that it, he wants to sell his his. Uh, part of the catalog like he wants to sell his his uh ownership oh his, and, his oh, okay. and that's where his the license. beef is oh i mean isn't that his right if he owns half of it can't he you know what he can do whatever he wants why do you need to put a restraining order a restraining order I know. yeah 
Wow, there's a lot missing there that we're not getting. Yeah, there's a lot. I want to know the story. If anybody well, what's the deal with the Hall and Oats restraining order? <laughs> now, have you heard that? Apparently, I, I, okay. Here's a get off my lawn. I'm so, this is a get off my lawn. Was it doctrines? Whenever anybody gets a doctrine in something that isn't even medical, has not you can now be called a doctor. And mm. I just think it's such bullshit. Like, right. so you know, um, apparently Peter Weller got a doctrine in something, and now he demands to be called Doctor Peter Weller. Wasn't it music or something, or playing trumpet or some something? Or shit? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Doctor Peter Weller. Doctor Peter Weller. So can I get a doctrine a... in in makeup effects? Can you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Find out if there is one. You could be Dr. Christopher Nelson, PhD. Dr. Nelson. Um, now it's, uh, yeah, so he's now Dr. Robocop. Um, Dr. Robocop. Good but it's funny is I've talked to a few promoters who told me since this, he now mm -hmm. demands to be listed as Dr. Peter Weller. Wow. And he has to be introduced as Dr. Peter Weller. Uh -huh. And I watched a video recently where he somebody recorded him like saying i'm coming to steel city comic-con or something and mm -hmm. he said hi it's dr peter weller i'll be it's he actually says it it's like <laughs> it i'm sorry but i it, i unless you're a real doctor unless you're right. a, in my head maybe I'll, you know i'm i'm obviously wrong because you can right. be a doctor and other things apparently but right. when i think doctor i think medical i think somebody that went to school for yeah. fucking umpteen years and yeah, like it. if there's an emergency on a plane is, is there a doctor on board is peter weller gonna jump up i mean right exactly. you know I, I don't know it's 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 like the knighting thing like sir i'm gonna John look that up and see what it takes to get a doctor in something I'm i don't know i yeah I don't, I don't know because I want a doctor in something. I want to be Doctor Sean Nelson. Clark. Yeah, I want to be Doctor Nelson. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I just, I, I don't know. It's uh, yeesh. It's kind of like being called a a scream queen. Yeah. Or being called a porn star. I think they're kind of the same thing. If you make one of those films, <laughs> now you're a scream queen or you're a right. porn star. Or a porn star. Yeah. I don't know how that works. Uh, but, uh, here, I think I have one more get off my lawn. Okay. Hit People that talk on their phones on speaker in public, oh, like, dude, like at a restaurant or a waiting room oh. and they're just sitting there like this. Yeah. 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 And, and the person going there and it's super loud and super loud. Dude, I fucked with somebody recently that was doing that. They were on hold for, they were like doing, they were on like. I don't know. I don't airline or something. And they, they were, and they're like sitting there like this. And I just kept going representative. Um, but, <laughs> and, and it would, and it was picking it up and it was switching right. out. And finally the person walked away. I did it two times. And the person finally walked <laughs> nice. away. Agent yeah. agent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that happened to me actually coming home from Pittsburgh. There was a guy on the plane oh. across the row on speaker like this, just going, yeah, so then the quarterlies will come in uh, January, blah, blah, and the guy's like, Barrr. and you know, the voice on the other yeah. end is always annoying. So it's like, the, and the guy, and I'm standing there, and they already told us to turn the phones off. Yeah. Like go into airplane mode. The guy's still going, mm -hmm. doesn't give a shit, just sitting there, you know, of course, middle aged white man. Yep. <laughs> Which are the bane of my existence, even though I am one. My, my biggest my biggest hate in the world are middle-aged white men <laughs> <laughs> we're the worst they're the worst they're so annoying and obnoxious and just and even if they're not dumb and and even and, when they're not on their speaker even if they have the earbuds in and they're just they're just talking out loud yeah you know yeah I hate that shit oh it drives me crazy That's you know i'm i'm always like this hey man i got i got I, the plane's about to take off i got you back you know, yeah, I'll have to call you back. And like, I'm right. being quiet. Right. These people are just like, hey, yeah, I'm moving mountains. I'm on the phone. I'm important. I'm an important guy. Yeah. Doing important stuff. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, let's let's wrap let's wrap this cheery Christmas episode up. Merry Christmas. Warm, heartfelt moments. Tell me, I want to know. Yeah. What is your best memory? Give me your two, if you got if because I I have like two. What would you say are like your two best memories of Christmas being a kid? And like, like a, a gift you got that was just like, yes, you know? Oh God. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is my, my parents lived uh, across the country from each other. My mother lived in LA and I, and my father in Pittsburgh, I spent most at Christmas time. I was with my father in Pittsburgh and I hadn't seen my mom. I would see my mom only in the summertime hmm. uh, for a couple months so uh missed her and and didn't really have a mom around and stuff so but she would and we were very poor i was my father didn't make a lot of money he was a traveling salesman we were incredibly incredibly poor so he couldn't afford to buy toys and and christmas presents and stuff it was very rare we would get you know some socks and underwear and things necessities so every year my mother would send a box full of wrapped up toys and uh, it was always exciting to get that box in the mail and it would show up and I'd be like, oh my God. And I remember I got, my fondest memory was getting the $6 million man doll and the Mego Iron Man doll in the same, in the same hall. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh my God. So I got $6 million man and Mego Iron Man because all my friends had all of them they collected them and they had all the dolls and i uh, sorry action figures uh so i i i remember getting those two one year and i loved it so much they were my favorite things ever and i cherished them for years and years and years that was and it was snowing and it was very almost christmasy you know not quite where where i grew up and lived (laughs) in my house but uh but that was that was pretty that was one of my fondest memories of as far as getting a gift mm-hmm. yeah mine so. was one christmas i mean it must have been 78 uh all i wanted more than anything was uh the a kiss gene simmons uh the the migo doll Migo, yeah mm-hmm. action figure um and <laughs> uh because i saw that commercial kiss that's a name kiss kiss I may look insane yes. if rocks your game it's kiss um that's the whole theme song that's it um and uh because my mom would take me to toys r us on she was on chapman and harbor boulevard over by disneyland and they had this giant display of kiss me goes and i was like oh. you know i wanted yeah i just wanted the gene one i mean i wanted all of them but i wanted the gene one and uh so that's like the only thing i think i asked for that christmas and i'm going through the presents and i'm opening them no kiss doll no kiss doll and i get down to i've opened everything mm. and i'm like i'm fe- i'm feeling so defeated <laughs> and my dad's like what's wrong and i'm like uh, uh, kiss it all and the, uh, and like, kiss for me and i, and I go to my room me. yeah and I go to my room and I'm crying. You and were crying? I, I was crying. Yeah. Oh my God. I was that upset. And I still do it sometimes, you know, if I don't get what I want. Um, yeah. And um, we're done here. Yeah. And um, my dad comes in and he's all, you know, what, you know, I was laying the kiss doll for the, no Santa. <laughs> I was were good. You doing the thing. Were you doing the thing where you can't really breathe? Uh, kiss. Uh, 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 kiss. Uh, uh, didn't get kiss. it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, my dad goes, "Were you sure? Are you sure you opened all the gifts?" I go, "I opened all of them. I I thought I saw one more. I I'm like, what? He goes, oh. "I thought I I I I could have swore I saw one more under the tree." I'm like, he's fucking with you. He was fucking with me. Yeah. <laughs> and I go in there and there's one more. Somebody stuck in there and it was the nice. Kiss Gene Simmons. All nice. Out. Wow. He fucked with you. He got you all upset. And then he, <clears throat> then he became the hero. He pulled a Christmas story on you. Yeah. Well, 
it, it's totally some shit I would do. So I get it. Um, <laughs> and and then another I, a big one for me was uh, um, getting a, a bike. <sighs> mm. I remember I got a mongoose. It was like a fucking mon- silver mongoose with blue mag rims um uh, that was i was so stoked man so yeah. stoked yeah so yeah that was um the, that those are my two best christmas memories um were and that was uh yeah in stanton but um stanton. well i hope that everybody had a good christmas because by the time this comes out it'll already have been christmas and uh we will already have done our live show. Uh, you know what's and- crazy about Christmas now is that I used to look forward to it so much, but now, you know, it it's it's kind of weird when you're when you're at a place in your life where that if you want something, you just get it. You, you know, just get I, it. Yeah. I mean, because people say, "What do you want for Christmas?" I'm like, if- or you get the whole you're so hard to buy for because you buy everything for yourself. That's what I get. That's what I get. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because who else is going to get it for me? No one else yeah. is paying attention to what I really, what I really want. <laughs> and most of the shit that I want, you ha- is like not readily available. Like if right. you don't get it, it's going to be gone. <laughs> you know, right. I mean? it's right. like I'm into weird, limited, like hard to find shit. So yeah, yeah. Like, I, 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 people ask so me. The, so the joy of opening a present to you really isn't as strong as it used to be because well, you know chances are you either already have it or it's not something that you really really wanted because you've already gotten it for yourself yes it's i mean there's a more of an element of excitement because since i haven't asked for anything right. I, i'm not expecting anything you know right. yeah. um so there is at least i'm not like Oh, I know what this is, you know, because I asked for it. I know what this is, you know. Yeah. Um, it, I, I have no idea what it's going to be, and and usually it's, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised quite often that I'll go, holy shit, you know, I didn't know about this or whole, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a lot of times like, yeah, I already got this, or I, you know, or I ordered it already, or some. I don't know. Excuse me, you're, but, you're so sleepy. I don't know why I'm so. I didn't get enough sleep, but um uh but yeah it it, what other than presents do you like about christmas i do i love the whole vibe i love the decorations i really love the lights and the yeah you know i i had a lot of fun decorating the house for the party and everything and um i just you know i i love just like turning the lights down and looking at the christmas tree lights and lighting a fire and just yeah getting the vibe you know the cozy christmasy end of the year coming to the end kind yeah. of relaxing there's nowhere to be you don't have any the stress is a little lower maybe yeah i don't know of life maybe i don't know or it gets yeah. stronger for some people i know <laughs> christmas can be harder the hardest time for people a, yeah. a lot of times and you got to try to try to find some some light in it and today is a perfect day because today is overcast it's been raining yeah Yeah, this is the perfect kind of day i just want to sit in the cozy house and like yeah uh you know because we don't get that very often here in cali um no no we don't it's usually 90 degrees and super sunny and (laughs) not very christmasy at all but it's kind of christmasy right now a little mm -hmm. bit as much as it can be here yeah no so right yeah the eggnog i like the eggnog and you know the, what you know, i, I the spiked eggnog a little in there i don't know if i've ever tried eggnog oh you should try it it's good it's good especially spike it you would like it because you like girly drinks but what's it taste like it tastes like eggnog give it a shot <laughs> it's hard to describe it's 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 hard to describe it's eggnog you guys just got to try it man just go get some get a little container of it and put a little Kahlua or something in there. Oh, you're going to like it. <laughs> oh, you will like it. It's so tasty. I'm going to have one as soon as I get out of here. Oh, <laughs> I do have something. Uh, this is a, uh, if you have a BevMo near you. Yes. 
So I've only seen this ice cream at Bevmo, but this stuff is like crack in a container. Okay. I, I saw this and I, it's a, I'm sure if you've seen those places called like milk, like the ice cream place, like milk bar milk. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have ice cream now that they sell in the store, but mm -hmm. the only place I've seen that sells it is Bevmo and they have mm -hmm. a seasonal ice cream. That is insane. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to get the container. Get the container. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope everyone's having a good Christmas or is going to have a good Christmas. And if you're not having a good Christmas, you're by yourself. Go out, get some eggnog, get some Kahlua, buy yourself a present, put so, on Die Hard and hang out. This right here. All right. What's it called? I can't read it. Candy cane chocolate Ooh. chip cornflake. Oh, Jesus. It is candy cane cookie dough flavored ice cream with cornflake crunch candy cane crush chocolate flavored chunks and gooey marshmallow swirl wow and it's Holy seasonal shit. so it says here where seasonal right yeah. there yeah so you can only get it right now all right it's amazing <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna go get some i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to bevmo and get if some. you like a, a good mint ice cream i do i love a mint ice cream this is bomb that's my favorite favorite flavor of ice cream is mint chocolate chip it's my favorite oh get look it. at that that looks good i'm gonna check it out everybody go get some at bevmo we'll all we'll, we'll all put them out of business let's go um yeah i i haven't seen this in the regular grocery stores yet this brand yeah, i haven't i haven't seen that brand either yeah but uh yeah, when I went to pick up drinks for the party, I picked up a few, you know, seasonal alcoholic beverages. And mm -hmm. um, I saw this and I said, that sounds amazing. Right. And I went back two days later and bought another got one. More. I polished it. <laughs> I may even go buy another one before they're all gone. I think I'm going to go tonight. I got them. I'm going to go do that and then watch yes. Killers of the Flower Moon, which is probably a feel good Christmas movie, right? Not at all. I watched Holdovers which I enjoyed it. I just thought it was way too long. Um, mm. It wasn't, I, I think you built it up too much for me. I, I was really <laughs> excited to see it. And I, I was just kind of like, I mean, it's good. It's, it's good. good. It's it, not great. It, it didn't it's, strike it's me as something movie. like after your review, I was like, oh, this is going to be one. All I said was one. it was good. That's all I said. I said it was a you were good. Very enthusiastic period. about it. You did say oh, it was good. I think we listened to that back, <laughs> if you remember, and yeah, it wasn't that built up. It was the gleam in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, anyway. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry I hope Christmas. You have, and by the time this airs, it'll be coming up on the New Year's. Yep. Uh, and I'm hoping that the new year is better for me because 2023 sucked ass in my opinion it was a terrible year for me uh and uh and my family and uh but uh um i'm hoping that 2024 is going to be kick ass and badass i have hope and uh i'm going into it with a positive attitude gonna kick ass this year see what happens Find yeah i'm not i'm 2023 it was a very successful year for me business wise um but uh definitely a lot of family th stuff that i we talked mm -hmm. about like in the last episode not a real good uh not very good year in those regards it's been pretty rough in those regards but um and rough yeah. flat out all across the board for me 2023 sucked are do you are you a new year's guy do you go to parties are you a a big New Year's celebrator? Or do you Not at all. In fact, I never go out on New Year's. I always just stay home. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only time I went out on New Year's was when Motley Crue sucked me in for that final show mm -hmm. in uh, like 2015. You remember mm -hmm. when Motley Crue played their mm -hmm. last show? Do you remember that? Yep. Their last yep. show ever? Yep. I went to that. <laughs> um, uh, but I am going to scotty and 60th birthday party on new year's eve um mm. 
his his birthday wow. yeah um and that's gonna be sounds pretty insane from what he told me all the guys sounds are, like fun they're gonna play and all these different musicians are gonna get up and they're gonna do a ton of covers and it sounds like it's gonna be fun um so i'm looking forward to that um but other yeah so i'll have to leave the that's house on years that's huge it's, i ain't doing shit for new huge. years I haven't, I haven't been invited anywhere I'm gonna just hang out. Probably, uh, probably do nothing. I might even be in bed before midnight. That's what happened last year. I think. I think I was in bed by ten o'clock or something. Like that. <laughs> I know it's sad. I should be doing something. I don't know what to do though. I think it's hyped. I think it's overhyped. I think New Year's is overhyped. Yeah. Um, That's just me though. The only thing, what I was gonna do. If uh, I ha wasn't going to the Scott Ian thing, I saw this thing online that says if you start in the air tonight at a certain time, um, Phil Collins in the air tonight, if you start it at 11 something, it gives you the exact time that right, right at midnight, the, the do, 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 do. <laughs> I was going to do that just for fun. All right. I might do that. I'm going to, I won't be up. able to, I won't be able to do that because I'll be no. at a concert. But I'll do it for you. That's what I'll be doing, everybody. Okay. Just so you know. <laughs> everybody look into that and everybody do that. That'll be fun. Oh, do that. Um, yes. Well, happy new year, everybody. I hope you have a happy new year. And uh, yep. uh, stay, stay positive, stay kind, be cool. And get ready for the thing with two heads. 2024. Woo. Woo. We're going to bring all kinds of positivity into next year. That's right. Next year is all about positivity. And girl power. I support girl power. Woohoo. Girl power. And patriarchy. And I don't know. It's going to um, be great. It's going to be a great year. We're all going we're all to get back on our feet next year. We're yeah. all going to do it. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a positive attitude right there. Um, Okay, well, anyway, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, see you guys in 2024, and uh, I hope you enjoyed our live that we had on Saturday the 24th. Wait, was it Saturday? Yeah. Sat was it 23rd. 23rd. On Saturday the 23rd, we did a live show, apparently. <laughs> we did a live show, and all we did was hang out and talk and yeah. answer questions and see what you guys have to say it's a kind of it was mostly about to see what they had to say what our fans yeah. have to say we're talking in the past tense because it's already happened as you're watching this happened. but we That's haven't right. done it yet no but no. we're gonna get in our delorean right now and go back and do it so you hear that i don't know what no. you're... i'm not doing anything when you hear the playback you'll see all right all there's right. a there's a do, 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 do. There's something you're touching that's rattling. All right. Well, I apologize. <sighs> Happy birthday. <laughs> All right, guys. See, See you next year. Be good. Theme music. Listen to that. Listen to Norman Go. Listen to him. Oh, by the way, they're supposed to be getting back together, the ghastly ones. Oh, uh, yeah. They're going to yeah. help that again. Wow. <laughs> Well, now everybody's going to want to hear them play this song. That's right. Our we've song. Made, we've made it hot. That's right. That's why we, we renaissance them. That's why Norman, we're coming back. If you're watching this, here's an idea. Thing with Two Heads 7 inch single of this song. There you go. Give it new life. Let's do that. Yep. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, just want to jump in here real quick to remind you, our shirt store is up online, tpublic.com backslash user backslash malfunction. Go there, we got a bunch of new things with who, we got a bunch of, <clears throat> come check it out, we got a bunch of thing with two head designs, all kinds of designs, more designs you know what to do with, horse hollow grounds designs. There's Hollywood's Holograms designs. You can get mugs, you can get shirts, you can get stickers, you can get a onesie for a baby. 
You can get a notebook. You can get a throw rug. You can get pretty much anything you want. So get on there. Tpublic.com. Backslash user. Backslash malfunction. That was awesome. That's the best episode yet. Oh, yeah. So great. <laughs> <laughs> I think people are going to enjoy it. It's much more positive than the last one. Last much one. more positive.